A baseline is your original project's plan and is used to compare against or to track changes made when the project has begun, and it includes task, resources, assignments, and cost estimates. In other words, after you complete your project plan and before you actually begin entering in your actuals or starting the project, you can save a baseline or a snapshot to track specifically the task duration, start and finish dates, and the cost. So you can tell later on whether or not you deviated from your cost, from your baseline cost, or your baseline start dates and finish dates and the duration of your task. To save a baseline, again, before you begin your project, which is really late now, because if I save a baseline now, it's going to take a snapshot of whatever it is I have now. So again, the emphasis is to save a baseline before you begin your project, so you have your originals, and then as things change throughout the project, you can always compare that against the original or that snapshot. So to save a baseline, come up here on the menu, click on Tools, go down to Tracking, and go over and down and click on Set Baseline. If you leave the defaults alone and you just click OK, it'll set a baseline for your entire project. Click OK, and that's it. Now where do I go to see this baseline? Well, one view you can go to is the Tracking Gantt. Come over here and right click on the Collapse View Bar, go down and select Tracking Gantt, of course, if you don't see the chart over here, you can right-click on the uh, timeline and go down to Zoom and say you want to see the entire project. Click OK, and there we go. Now you notice that you have a couple of different colors here, but one consistent color on all of these tasks is the black bar. That's your baseline. If you make changes throughout the project, like for example this task right here, let's say that you delay it or push it out a couple of days, it's going to slide off of the baseline bar here. So you can come in here and say, OK, Blue has now moved over a couple of days, and the original date or the baseline before we started the project is this date right here. And you can hover over that to get the original dates or start and finish dates for that task. Now, for whatever reason, if you need to clear your baseline, in other words, you don't want it saved at this time or set it at this time before you begin the project, again, it's the same place, Tools to Tracking, and then come down and click on Clear Baseline. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click off in a blank area. Another place that you can view the baseline is your project stats. Come up here and click on the project menu. Go down to project information. And then click on the statistics button. And there's your baseline for your start and finish dates for the project. And then for the duration, the work, and the cost. Now, why is the baseline the same as the current and the remaining? Because we just saved it now. And so any changes we make here on out, the baseline will always be the same, but then as we mess around, the work may go up or it may go down in hours, the cost will go up and down, and we can compare that against the baseline here. And of course, the actuals here are not applicable because when we save the baseline, we didn't enter in any of the actual work that was done. And then you have your actual, of course, which is not applicable, and the reason why is because we haven't entered any of them in yet. That's something we're going to learn in level two. I'm going to go ahead and close out, and then finally, last but not least, you have reports. Come up here, click on the Report menu, and then go down and click on Reports. Double click on the Overview, and then double click on the Project Summary. Let me click once to zoom in, and there you got your report that's printable that you can hand off to somebody. You got your start date, then you have your baseline start, and then you have your actual start. So you said that your project, when you entered in all the resources and your project summary task and all that, is going to start on August the 1st. You took a snapshot of that before you begin the project, which says, OK, your start date, I've captured that here. It's now frozen in time, August the 1st. And then you have your actual start date. So as the days start moving along, if you begin August the 2nd or the 3rd, you will have your actual start date here. So you have a comparison here. Your start date, your baseline, and then your actual. Aside from your dates, you have the duration, you have your work, and then you have your costs. What you've got scheduled, a snapshot of that scheduled before you actually start the project, and then if that schedule or that variance from that scheduled or baseline comes in either under $9,000 or over $9,695, you've got it here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.